Hi, welcome to our channel. In this video, I will show you about this 3D printed coaster that repels ants. This is how it looks. It consists of two parts, the top and the bottom. I don't want to use chemicals like ant chalk near my drink, so for the base or bottom part, there's a wall surface which we can put essential oil or something similar like muscle cream that ants don't like. And after that, we can put back the top before using the coaster. This is the cross-sectional view of the design. In order for any end to reach the cup or glass in the coaster, it will first encounter the essential oil on the wall. It will also have to crawl upside down through the vapors of the oil that should prevent them from moving further. In the next section, I will show you how to make the design in Design Spark Mechanical. This is how it will look like for the design result. But we will start from scratch. So file, new, design, okay. So now we are going to draw from the Y and Z plane. So to do that, we will click this one, the 3D mode. And then I will click this one, the X axis, and then press this one, the sketch mode, or just press K on your keyboard. Okay, and now I will press V on my keyboard. So I will have this view. We will start by designing the cross-sectional view and then we will use the revolve pull so now I will start by making a line here at the center as a axis for the next revolve pull okay and then I will make another line from this center point by 25 millimeters and then I will start making rectangle from this one from this point okay 2 millimeters height by 25 millimeters length so 25 2 enter okay I will make another line here 6 millimeters okay so starting from this point I will start making this rectangle which will be 4 millimeters thick and 18 millimeters height Okay, 18 millimeters. Okay, now we have this shape. And then we will add another shape here. So another rectangle at the top, which will be 2 by 2. This will be starting for the upper part. But since we also need to add some contact clearance or some uh, distance for it, so I will move the upper part a bit to the outside but uh, we will also cut a few from this uh, shape so I will put two millimeters by 2.2 like this okay and then I will also cut some material usage here so we are not going to print uh, this thick I will cut here make a 45 or 135 degrees line and we will cut another two millimeters okay something like this and I just press escape to quit from the line mode or line tool like this okay and the next we will add the upper part so to do that I will zoom here and then uh, we will make a rectangle here to add some distance from this uh, lower part so I will type in 0 0.2 okay and then another rectangle again this one I can start to make the upper part so starting from this point which is already in 0 0.2 distance from the uh, lower part so I will move to the left this will be 8 millimeters by 2 millimeters okay and then after that I will add here another two millimeters thickness and eight millimeters length so we will have this shape right now and I will add another uh, maybe we will add later on it's okay so for now this is that we have and I will click this one the 3d mode okay so we have these surfaces 
that we can use to extrude or pull later on and now I will click this one and delete okay and then I will also click this one and press delete also this one press delete so now we have these two group of surfaces and then next we will pull revolve so to do that I will click select and then double click here okay so we select all of them and then I will press control and I double click here so we select also this ones okay and then I will click pull and then click this one the revolve icon okay and then I will click this one the line which will be the axis of the revolve and then I click here and move and then input 360 and then press enter so now we have this shape okay we let me click here and show you the uh, cross-sectional view so something like this this will be the base and this will be the top but we will add more chamfer here so wait a moment I will hide the okay let's rename it this is going to be the top part and this is the base part okay this at the base will be where you put the essential oil to repel the ants okay and this circle here will be the uh, contact with the top okay and it has 0 0.2 millimeters clearance okay now we will add chamfer for the top so I will click here and then click pull and then I will click this one chamfer and let's add two millimeters okay okay and then also at this line I will also add two millimeters of chamfer okay now we have this shape and then for the base we will also add some chamfer here so I will click pull chamfer but this one may be only 0 0.2 okay not too big not too large and also this one at the bottom to strengthen the structure so I will add maybe one millimeter is enough okay and that's it this is the base and this one is the top so after this you can export the design and then uh, for the base part this will be the printing orientation you don't need any support because it uh, sorry let me click here and make the cross-sectional view okay you don't need any support because uh, this is 45 degrees the print will do just fine okay and then also for the top part for this one you'll need to rotate 180 degrees so the top of this design will be the base at the printer okay and also you don't need any support to do that I used PLA on FDM printer, but you can also use PETG or ABS for better temperature resistance. Or you can also add a layer of cardboard inside this coaster. And this is the test. I've prepared a sugar in water solution. The cup on the right is placed on top of the anti-end coaster, while the one on the left is just placed as is. And after 1 hour and 6 minutes, there were lots of ants on the left cup, and no ants with our anti-ant coaster. I will post the STL and Design Spark mechanical file on Cults 3D, and you can find the link in the video description. If you like this content, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and see you again in the next video. Have a great day. Bye!